So guys, as we're moving into the fourth quarter, there is still a lot planned for the remainder of the year with expectations for the upcoming Model Y low cost variant as well as the affordable Model 2 arriving sometime in the next couple of months. But quite honestly, the most exciting part is the new batteries that are going into the latest Model 3 vehicles as well as even better batteries going into the upcoming cars that will substantially improve range and performance. Earlier in the year, during the X Takeover event, Tesla's VP of Vehicle Engineering, Lars Moravi, dropped hints about an updated version of the Model 3, and just as we've suspected, days after the event, official filings from China revealed several updates and changes to the Model 3. Tesla had filed for a brand new variant of this vehicle in China, making it the company's longest range model to date. Details of this upgrade was revealed and discovered on the official website of China's Ministry of Industry and Information Technology. The new variant arrives with an efficient single motor setup bringing a significant boost in power, just over 300 horsepower compared to the original 260 in the current rear wheel drive. The real highlight, however, of this new Model 3 is its range. Early data suggests it could reach up to 800 kilometers or about 500 miles, surpassing even the long range all wheel drive at 753 kilometers on a full charge. Top speed remains at 200 kilometers per hour, while curb weight holds at 1760 kilograms, identical to the current base Model 3, but with substantially more battery capacity. Tesla's new 5M battery pack features LG's latest NMC cells delivering improved range and efficiency. In recent months, both Cathol and LG have been developing and producing updated high-density cells for the upcoming Model 3s and Model Ys, and now that time has arrived, giving us our first look at Tesla's battery upgrades. Comparing vehicles, previous Model Y battery packs were rated at 62.5 kilowatt hour for the standard range and 78.4 for the long range. The new Model Y L, however, has been upgraded to 82 kilowatt hour pack, delivering an estimated range of 751 kilometers or 466 miles on a single charge. As for the Model 3, Tesla has brought back the long-range rear-wheel drive configuration that existed in the past but was discontinued following the refreshed Model 3 launch. It now returns with a 78 kilowatt hour battery pack, pushing the range to an impressive 830 kilometers or 515 miles, which is nearly 200 kilometers more than the current rear-wheel drive trim. This version of the Model 3 was originally only available in China, but it looks like now Tesla is bringing it to other markets along with the upgraded battery. New information from a Tesla forum shows documents suggesting the same battery could be coming to nearby regions. A user on the TFF forum shared certificate of conformity for two new Model Ys coming to Germany this month, a rear wheel drive with September delivery dates and a performance variant. The certificate includes details like range, weight, battery capacity, and internal designator codes later broken down giving us a clearer look at what to expect of these upcoming cars. This variant of the Model 3 long range rear wheel drive coming to Germany will be powered by a new battery pack from LG in South Korea production line. It uses the latest M53 lithium ion cells on a 400 volt NMC architecture both found on the newly released Model Y performance. The pack overall will deliver a net capacity of 85 kilowatt hour, around five kilowatt hour more than the current Model 3 long range, while also weighing less at 448 kilograms. All right, so on the surface, this is exactly what we've been asking for. A larger battery pack, more range, more efficiency without any of the sacrifices. We'll be able to drive longer with less anxiety and less pit stops and choose when you wanna take that bathroom break break. That is the true luxury of owning a Tesla and an EV of this capacity. All of this is just really, really incredible, but it doesn't just end there. There is more upgrades to the battery front coming over the next couple of months that is really going to improve and change the way we experience driving a Tesla altogether. In a recent interview, a vice president of vehicle engineering, Lars Moravi, revealed that a new battery chemistry is in the works enabling drivers to set the charge limit to 90%, an increase from the current recommendation of 80% on the display. This is possible through the introduction of an updated nickel-based battery cell that allows owners to raise daily charging limits without sacrificing longevity. Lars explained that the development closes the gap to lithium ion phosphate or LFP by half, a notable advancement to Tesla's nickel-based cells 
which have traditionally required stricter charging practices to preserve long-term performance. On that note, more details have surfaced comparing the latest 5M cells to other battery variants across different vehicles shared by user Annex going by Evisa. The comparison looks at a 2024 Model 3 performance with an older 5L pack versus a 2025 Model 3 performance with the new 5M. Preliminary tests shows differences in efficiency, heat production, and power outputs between the two batteries, starting with a 92% state of charge on both vehicles and driving at city speeds. The older Model 3 reaches a higher temperature at 55 degrees Celsius, while the newer one stays at around 37. And although the lower temperature might seem like it's at a disadvantage, the 5M cells actually delivered more power despite being 18 degrees cooler. If both vehicles had equal battery temperatures, the differences in power output would even be more significant. Another user on the TFF forum, Dre Singh, shared his experiences with the new battery highlighting an initial 200 kilowatt pull at the supercharger. It stays strong at 0 to 30% at over 200 kilowatt, only tapering down to around 150 kilowatt before hitting the 50% mark. With the new pack, a full 0 to 80% charging session takes about 25 minutes, over 5 minutes faster than the older LG batteries, which normally would take more than 30 minutes. Then finally, to wrap up the Model 3 upgrades, the long-awaited front bumper camera retrofit is finally starting to appear and rolling out to older vehicles. A member of the Tesla Motors Club forum, Andrew Wynn, shared a photo of a 2025 Model 3 performance build during the week of August 21st, showing a special cutout above where the camera would normally sit. He confirmed that every performance trim he's seen arriving at the service center for work includes this special cutout and cover, whereas the long range and base models do not. This could suggest that Tesla is taking a tiered approach, starting with the performance trim and gradually retrofitting base model as parts become available starting this very week. Then finally, adding to the retrofit itself, China's Ministry of Industry and Information Technology has just revealed in its latest filings that Tesla is now preparing the Giga Shanghai production line to equip the Model 3 long range and performance trim with the front bumper cameras right from day one. So there we have it guys, major improvements to the battery is finally here. We are starting to see a trend where we're getting much lower larger battery capacity without increasing the overall footprint. Efficiency has always been a priority, but having the extra density and the capacity increase really opens up a lot of future potentials, and that could mean that we could see a future software unlock that would bring us into the same line as what we've seen years ago, unlocking that extra bit of range as soon as the software allows it to. More importantly though, this gives us the headroom to drive without range anxiety and as we start to slowly move towards the 400 mile mark, this is where a lot of hybrid and gasoline engine drivers, they are going to see the benefits and no sacrifices to switching over to an EV, specifically a Tesla and this is where all the swap is really gonna happen. So overall, this is just really a great improvement across the entire board in colder temperature, in charging speed, as well as power output. It's already better than the LFPs and the NMCs that we have in our cars today, and as soon as the new battery drops, the ones that Lars had said that will let us charge our car to 90% daily, that is the one that is really going to change it all. That is going to be the one that you really want to upgrade to. And of course, last but not least, for fellow Model 3 owners, the real excitement is when you're going to be getting this new camera retrofit. It seems like, after all, we are going to be getting this upgrade as well as new vehicles rolling off the line. Model 3 going to be the last to join the rest of the family. And this is a really great bonus to all the upgrades we've been seeing. Can't wait to see this. I will continue to keep my eyes out for anything that comes up and update you as quickly as possible as always. So I would love it if you stick around and hit the subscribe and the bell notification if you haven't already done so. And follow me on X at HeyJohnny. You'll see things over there you wouldn't see over here and you can chat with me anytime. I'll respond as quickly as possible. Anyways, this should be it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. This is John once again. Peace out.